Thank you so much. My name is Jesse Mwai, and I want to challenge you on what I've entitled, Have a Heart. You know, we are living in times where people are becoming more and more heartless. We see people committing very heartless acts against one another, against the vulnerable. We live in a world where everybody is becoming more and more self-centered. We are becoming more and more selfish. Sometimes we even see other people hurting and we actually don't even have a heart to help. We, uh, because it's all about us. It's all about what I want and my needs. I want to look out for myself. I want to make sure that I'm number one on my own list. You know, so we live in a world where people are becoming more and more heartless and sometimes even going out of their way to hurt other people. I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you. If you want to live a quality life, have a heart. Have a heart. And uh, I'll just share with you a few things that will help you and I to actually have a heart. The first thing is that we must learn to forgive one another. And by the way, can I tell you this? You will be offended. You will be wounded every now and then. But be the first to forgive. Be the first to tell somebody, I forgive you. I choose to forgive you. Even when you don't feel like it. And yes, even sometimes after you, have, you tell somebody, I, I choose to forgive you and I forgive you, it will not feel like you have forgiven them. Because sometimes the, the heart may linger on for a, for, for a while, but be the first one to do that. And the, the sooner you forgive people, the better it is for you. The, the, the sooner you will heal, the faster you will heal. Because if you don't forgive, if you're not somebody who forgives, and there are people who sometimes do not forgive anybody, they have, they're carrying burdens of, hearts and offenses for years and, and years and years, what, what happens is that it will turn into, that unforgiveness will end up turning eventually into bitterness and toxicity. It will, it will poison your soul. It will poison your spirit. And, and, and then you'll begin wondering why you're so depressed, why you're so down, why you don't like people. It's because of that unforgiveness that has now turned into a spirit of bitterness. So choose to forgive. Have a heart and forgive people. Number two is that you must be gentle. Please learn to be gentle with others. You know, in the culture and the times that we're living in, people can be really hard on one another. You know, we speak to one another with such harsh tones and sometimes we are brutal with one another in the words that we speak. Learn to be gentle. It's not always easy to be gentle, but it is possible for you to be gentle. And the reason why you need to be gentle is that everybody is fighting one battle or the other. People are hurting around you and sometimes a, a, a harsh word will only add insult to injury in their life but a gentle word sometimes will turn away wrath as the Bible actually says. So learn to be gentle with people. I am not saying that you flatter people. I'm not suggesting that you don't tell people the truth. But no matter what you do, even if you have to tell the, uh, the truth to somebody and maybe the truth and you need to tell them something that may not be very pleasant, do it gently. Let those words land gently. Be as gentle as possible. Have a heart and be gentle. But then number three, the third thing is that you must be hospitable. You know, um, in this world where everybody's locking themselves in, learn to welcome people, in, not just into your home, but also into your life. Be hospitable. Extend a hand of invitation, a welcome to somebody. Extend maybe even uh, just an offer for a meal to somebody, uh, some water to somebody. You know, extend some form of, uh, of generosity or help to somebody around you because people are in need of that. Have a heart. And then... Be generous. Learn to be generous. Give. In fact, the Bible says that it is more blessed to give than to receive. Now, unfortunately, too many of us, we only want to receive. You know, we're always looking at others with the eyes of, give me something. I want to receive. You know, help me. But sometimes we don't, and a lot of times we don't look at uh, the opportunities that are available for us to be able to give to somebody. Be gen Learn to be generous. I have discovered in, uh, that you will never lack because you are generous. You will never become poor because you are too generous. Be generous. And then finally, learn to be an encourager. You remember in the Bible, there's a guy called Barnabas. Barnabas was an encourager. You know, learn to encourage other people. Be that one guy, be that one lady, be that person who is always encouraging people. Even when people sometimes have failed, when people are not doing so well, when people are feeling down, people have been bereaved, people are in trouble. Be that one person who offers a word of encouragement, a shoulder to lean on. Be that one person who offers to pray for people. Be an encourager. 
In this world, we need people who have a heart. Be that person who has a heart uh, and, and um, be a blessing to the people around you, the people God will bring around you. And when you do so, you will discover and you will find that you will find more happiness, you will be more joyous. And uh, you, you know, somehow life takes on a different meaning when you have a heart. May the Lord bless you. Please share this video with others and may the Lord bless you and keep you. God bless.